about any high school in the United States, drugs can be purchased. They can be purchased inside the school building. But most of all, they can be purchased in the school parking lot, in front of the school, or down the street from school. Several years ago, the city of Dayton made the punishment for being caught with an illegal substance in the school zone very severe. But did it stop the activity? See and hear for yourself as our coons present the 411 on drug sales in and around our city schools. Does the cars outside pulling in, do they look suspicious to you? And does that make you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, terrible. Make you feel, why does it make you feel uncomfortable? Because you never know what's going to happen. Does the suspicious cars outside make you feel kind of uncomfortable? I think you should ask that question again. But you said suspicious. You mean suspicious? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Suspicious? Yeah. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying? They like dudes who be like 25 years old. We still in high school, you know, they could be coming up here with guns and everything. Can you buy drugs in or around most high schools? Yeah, most high schools you can. Like, how easy is it to get drugs on school grounds? It's real easy, you know what I'm saying? You can buy something in the parking lot or just know somebody who's selling whatever you want to get, you know what I'm saying? You can just buy it. I know that if I wanted it, I could easily find out where to get it. You buy it in school. Like, if you gave me about 15 minutes, I can go buy some right now. How easy is it to get drugs on school grounds? By walking up, asking, and get it. As a school, you can find drugs anywhere anybody would like to sell them to you. Like, you don't have to know anybody. Just go up to the person and say you want drugs, and if they have it, they'll sell it to you because they want money. Students definitely know who the drug users and the drug sellers are. They're well known all around the school, so they have a bad rep, to be honest. And I can't believe the administrators don't know who they are. Uh, mainly, the problem is, I don't think it's the kids, but our students that's bringing it up here is uh, all seven people that come up here with it on. You know what I'm saying? And the kids know them, be in the neighborhood with them, all right, and they go through that way, or they might sit in the car with them. Now, one process I tried doing was locking up the student parking lot putting a lock on it, but then I had them calling me all day long because cafeteria people get here at a certain time, some other people want to pull in the lot at one time, you know, it just got to be so hectic. I can't be patrolling the building and up on the third floor, then every time somebody called me, it seemed like every 20 minutes, someone was calling me, so the part about me uh, locking up the parking lot, I had to quit doing that. <laughs> Where your class at? Uh, I them. Come on. God. Why you ain't why you ain't in the class? You better look at me like man, what's the kid? Okay, check this out. No, uh, you messed it up. some doors or whatever, I'm outside in it. And it's hard for me to go like to the parking lot, to the student parking lot area. And then if I'm down in the student parking lot area, then I got the vehicles pulling up in the front where the kids are, you know. And I mean, I, I feel like that I've done a good job this year as far as deterring drug sales as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? You can only, you can only do so much. You're not gonna stop all of it. The problem is, okay, as big as our building is, uh, I could use some extra help. I mean, I went down there, me and Mr. Griffin went down to Cincinnati to a basketball game last year at a high school, and 
at the high school they had three Cincinnati police officers and three monitors and two security officers. And they only had like 800 students. I believe if I had one more person that was with me like eight hours instead of me have to call Mr. Griffin, call Mr. McCray, call Mr. Graham, call Mr. Williams. You know, if I had a person that was working with me full time, we could deter a lot of, we had an awful lot of problems that we had here. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, it's impossible for me to, uh, to, you know, go over this whole building and I got people calling, you have a fight here, you got people cutting here, you got people in the back of the alley, you know, and this is a big, then you got the neighbors calling you and I have a good record with all the neighbors, so they call, have me come around with, with kids and skipping that, but yeah, I could use some uh, uh, dang police officer here with me every day. We got a dang police officer up here that was patrolling the outside area, deterring the guys coming up here with the loud music, and you know, the loud music and the smoking marijuana coming all out of the car windows and stuff. If I had a dang police officer that would take care of the outside area where I wouldn't have to go outside period, then I would have the inside of the building locked down and it would be a, a lot better environment. Can something be done to stop the selling on and around school grounds? Maybe if school and police officials could put their heads together and added the noses of a few good drug dogs, something could be done.